So now we want to make a sagittal section of the skull. We want to be able to see um, the inside of the skull when it's cut in the mid-sagittal plane, which is down this way. So we can turn off the visibility of the skin. I still have my selection highlighting turned off here in my show panel. That's fine. You can just be aware of what I've got selected um, because I'll keep my outliner open. So I want to select the skull, which I have, and make a duplicate of it. So go to Edit, Duplicate, and it will make a duplicate and will maintain its position in the same group. I'm going to rename this Adult Skull Section. And I'm going to make a display layer for this too. So with it still selected, over to the display palette here. Click on this icon. So we can click on this icon to turn it on and off. Nothing seems to be happening because we still have the other skull turned on. So with them both turned off, and you can't see anything. But this one, this new layer, we'll call this one section. Hit save. So I just double click on the layer name to rename it. And the way you cut something in Maya is to perform what's called a Boolean operation. So you take two objects that intersect somehow and whether, um, depending on the operation you perform, you will get uh, the part where they overlap, the part where they don't overlap, or a unified um, representation of the two things combined. So to do this, we have to make a cube or something, but a cube in this case is what we need. Uh, create a cube. You can ignore this stuff. Go to scale. Scale it up. Now we want to move it over so it's covering the anatomical right side of the chimp skull. And I'm positioning it so this one plane of the cube is going through this, uh, the mid-sagittal line here, so the mid-sagittal section between the two central incisors, the middle of the nasal aperture between the orbits. It's going to be impossible to get it perfect, but try your best to get it here. See, because the teeth don't line up perfectly, it's not going through the uh, between the two central lower incisors, but that's okay. So that's positioned properly. I'm just going to select the cube, delete its history. Now we want to select the skull, then the cube. Go to Mesh, Booleans, and Intersection. So wait for a moment. I'm just going to undo that because I realize there is one setting that you'll have to change. So skull cube holding down shift to select skull, then shift, hold down shift and select the cube. Go to mesh, booleans. Let's open up the options. I'll reset my settings. By default, the intersection classification is normal. We want to change this to edge so it closes the edge um, of the cut part of the skull. Actually, there's one other thing we want to do. Let's just see this so you can see what I mean. Let's apply and close. So because we selected edge, it creates this closed edge here. So you can see we've got a nice model here that shows um, interesting anatomical features like the cella turcica, this, uh, the fenestration here inside the uh, sinus. Pretty cool. Um, but one thing that's kind of missing is that I wish this was a different color. Uh, that this cut edge was a different color. So I'm going to back out of this. I'm going to undo. And before I perform this function, I'm going to select the cube. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to assign a new material. And the material that I want to assign is this one called a surface shader. So when I did that, let me just do that again, right click, 
assign new material. I clicked under where it says Maya surfaces, so it gives us a limited selection of shaders. And the second from the bottom, surface shader. And it just makes it black. By default, it's going to be black. So let's now do the Boolean again. Skull, shift select the cube, mesh, Booleans, intersection, open the option box, make sure edge is turned on here, apply and close. We'll wait. And now you can see that the same thing has happened, but where the intersection occurred, it's left a black edge. So when we render that out, it'll actually be a little bit more interesting and more revealing about what is on the mid-sagittal plane here. So I'm happy with that. So before we go any farther, you'll notice that if I turn off select or turn selection highlighting back on, this new th shape is created. We have to delete history because that cube and that original uh, duplicated skull is still here. It's just been made invisible. But now with this adult skull section, which has been removed from the group, if I go in and edit delete by type history, you'll notice that a whole bunch of stuff got removed, that cube and stuff. So now I want to drag this back into my group. So in the outliner, if we middle mouse click on the adult skull section and drag it on top of the word group one, then it'll pop it back into that group. That just means now if I move the whole group, it moves everything into including that section. Now we should just double check and see if this model is still on this display layer, and it's not. It's because a new model was created when we did that function. So let's select adult skull section. Now we can right click on the word, the name of the layer, in this case it's called section, and say add selected objects. Now when I turn the visibility on and off, it disappears. So now we've got a nice section through our model showing us exactly uh, what is on the mid-sagittal plane and showing us the internal structures. Okay.